All right, let's get bored with the old Rona. We walk around the yard, but some rain again, which is good. Checking the veggie patch. Then I'll show you the uh, monstrous butternut pumpkin setup. Okay, so we'll go check out some, a couple of little Bolivian chilies. They call them Christmas tree chili trees. Beauties. Those big, all these little ones. They're like a weed. Right. We'll show you grab a couple, couple of capsicums. That like just grew from seeds. It's easy. You just YouTube all this. I mean, to start them. I actually did buy this little snacksicums. Get them fuckers. Go check out the pumpkin bush. Oh, oh, mingo. Grown from seed. Just YouTube it. Get grow mingo from seed. That easy. Ooh. More chilies. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Samantha's cleaning the caravan. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, look. Butternut pumpkins. I started this from seed. Oh, started these from seed, and we've had a fair bit of rain. And these butternut pumpkins. This normal old pumpkin bought from IGA. Chucked a couple of seeds in the ground. I put three in. And oh my god. Have a go at them. Massive. I sort of didn't know when you had to pick them and stuff, but. What? Oh yeah, beauties. Look at that. All going from seed. One thing I did know was uh, when I was going through here the other day was that I come across something which was a little bit of a surprise. Oh, a little work to get me through here. It was a bit of an accident. It was a, this is an old chook pen. But there was an old dish in here and it blew over. And look at that root system. From the pumpkin vine. Just grown into the drinking trough for the chooks. There's a few in here that have been that are getting pretty close, I think too. I wasn't sure when you should pick them, but oh. that one's close. I've been picking like that, and they've been fine. I'll wait for that little green vein there to disappear. I reckon wait for that stem to die off. But I usually wait for that little butt in there until he's nice and clean. See, like you got that fella there, bit of stuff on the end of him still. That one's nearly ready up there. I would say. We'll see, you got that fella there. Nearly ready. No green vein on it. I'd take that one. This fella here. He's close. A little bit of a green vein on him there, see? We'll leave him for a bit longer. But they're just. Everywhere this rain just keeps turning up just at the right time. Right. They don't eat pumpkins? Tag left on his butt there. He looks pretty ready. But this is all I've been doing. Here's. So I say wait for that to turn brown. We were dead, but in I'll take them earlier. So if it's green, it's still taking in water. But that butt, clean butt. 
almost ready. Beautiful. As I said, I've been taking it like this. That stem will see it's turned to brown. It'll actually die right off and that green vein will go. That's when they reckon you take them, but I've had no dramas taking them like this. Beautiful. Oh, look at them. Butternut. That one there has to be prize winner. Look at him up there. That thing is, that is, as long as my forearm. That is massive. That is a big butternut squash, as the Americans call it. They're bloody pumpkins. Let's get out of here.